If you have a Jag Arms TTI Pit Viper, Sand Viper, or Combat Master Alpha, you might want to tighten the compensator every now and then. It does work loose from usage. To start, first you're going to field strip the gun, take the slide off. The smaller notch is for the slide stop to come out. You'll want to push it from the other side, or if you have trouble with pushing that out, you can reach into the slide and push it from the inside of the gun. Do not use a hammer or force to remove it. This is the same for any 1911 or high cap style gun, so it's useful to know. Once you get that out, you will take a look at the recoil spring plug. It is the part that surrounds the guide rod. You're going to push on it so that it comes back a little bit. It helps if you have some fingernails. And then once you see the little bit of lip exposed, you can stick your finger in there and then start pulling it out. Careful with bringing this out. This is spring loaded, so this could fly anywhere and you wouldn't want this to hit your face. If you have a Combat Master Alpha, you also have a hole for a paper clip that you can use to keep the spring back and keep it all assembled. Now, once you have it out, align the hop-up chamber and the barrel, I guess you call it the ear, to make sure they're flush with each other so that it can slide out of the slide assembly easier. If it's cocked at an angle, it won't come out. Okay, now that you have it out, now you will kind of cock it to the side a little bit to take out the hop-up unit. Now when you tighten the compensator and the barrel, there's three components to this. The barrel itself, the little threaded bushing, and then the compensator. It uses a six millimeter Allen. I have it all apart here, so I'm gonna reassemble it from scratch, but yours shouldn't take that many uh, turns to tighten it. When you tighten the bushing down, it kind of sandwiches the compensator onto the barrel itself. You wanna align it a certain way where the flat part of the barrel itself is in line with that curvature of the compensator. If you have it a little bit off, it won't go back into the slide assembly correctly. After that, it's just a matter of reassembling that recoil spring, the spring guide, and the recoil spring plug. There's a specific way to assemble it where the, the flat parts are on the top. And for the recoil spring guide, there's a curvature that is what supports the outer barrel. Then you're gonna kinda angle it in while it's compressed fully. Careful it doesn't fly out of your hand and hit something or yourself. And it's gonna get snagged up on the hop-up chamber, that's okay. You're gonna wiggle it in until you find that the guide rod can go fully into the slide and compensator. Same thing with the Combat Master Alpha, except that you have the paper clip to help you for that hole. You'll just slide that assembly in and then remove the paper clip. After that, it's a matter of reassembling the slide, cock the hammer back, put the slide assembly back on, put the slide to the smaller groove, and then put the slide stop in.